Hey guys, it's Ann over at Plant Obsessed, and today we're doing an unboxing. And for my worm people, sorry, um, but I'm I ordered orchids. This is my first real orchids I've ever purchased, and I got them from orchids.com, aka Norman's Orchids. And uh, aside from opening the box, um, which I'm not going to try and do one-handed. They did uh, leave me with instructions, carefully remove packing material, gently cut tape, remove any packing material, gently lift orchids from box. Do not repot for 30 days. Okay, well, looks like I've got potting, or er, have some things that I need to find a home for. So, let me gently grab out the packing peanuts. I don't know if these are the ecologically friendly kind or not. Oh, I see a flower! So many of them that are seedlings and not clones, you don't know what you're going to end up with, according to people on the internet, so I was afraid. Okay, so it looks like the containers are actually taped to the box. It did make it all the way from California to central Illinois. Luckily it wasn't hot this week. Alright, so let me try and get this one. Okay, they're both coming at once. Okay. Okay, this one is not in blue. thing at a time. Looks like it's had a little damage with the roots. Looks to be potted in sphagnum moss. And this is the Valentini. It is supposed to smell like something, but my nose is not picking it up right now. It might be a nighttime thing, I'm not sure. But if you can see her, let me see. She's kind of a, a waxy red color. And trying to look, I see something kind of like spider webby, which makes me worried that it's spider mites. So we are not going to put this with the rest of the orchids. This is going to have to go on a shelf someplace. Probably a smart idea anyway, but it's got three flower spikes. Four, sp four flower spikes, and it is a good sized plant, so I think this is worth the $35 that I spent, for sure. Um, it's got one, two, three, four sets of leaves. They look a little mottled, so I am a little concerned about that, but they're good big leaves, so um, I was kind of expecting a smallish plant, not miniature so much as petite, I guess. And this is not a petite phalaenopsis. So we'll see about that. It appears to be a cross between, I don't really know enough to be dangerous, but summer bloomers and winter bloomers. So that's why we've got the short spikes and yet the big leaves. So we'll have a look at that a little bit more later. Let's see what the other one is doing. This has been taped seven ways to Sunday. I know. Um, this is called Heavenly Scent. Jeez. Oh, uh, let's see if you can see that. So that's uh, Yangling Blueberry times Heavenly Scent, or New Star times Violacea Indigo. I don't know. We'll have to read more. But as I said, this one was supposed to be in bloom as well. So, gonna have to. So, this is potted bark. It's a little weird that they came from the same place and they're totally different. I am not seeing a flower spike on this anywhere. 
Wait, so no, that root, that's a root. So it's in bark, a bark mix, and maybe even some wool rock. Um, looks like it had a flower stem at one time, right there. But I am not seeing one right now. In fact, I, I actually, this looks like a, flower, a seed pod, doesn't it? Weird. Um, so, yeah. Kind of a, a strange thing to see. Kind of, I'm not repotting it. That is part of the deal. I'm not supposed to repot it for a while, but I am going to look at the roots a little bit. Looks like I've got some dead roots. Looking down in there, this has got to be some kind of professional mix because I have not seen rock wool here anywhere. But it's getting a new leaf. No flowers currently. I'm going to have to go back and look at my, my invoice and see what I paid for. Um, if I paid for blooming size versus blooming, that's a different thing. But these leaves are super shiny. Super, super shiny. And they're a little bendy. The top ones are a little bendy, so maybe it's dehydrated. Um, so we'll see about that. So I'm a little concerned about this one, um, but we'll see. But let me put, you, put both of them together here. So for scale, this is my hand. There's the flower. These are very, very firm. These are a little bendy. This looks like it's a very super mature plant. An amazing, you know, three flower stalks, four flower stalks there. So I should be getting a lot of blooms out of that. So that was worth it. This one, a little concerned about. Um, doesn't look like it's in the best shape. Also, completely different style of tagging. So I don't know if the orchids.com does like a you know, ships from different places or something. But anyway, guys, so kind of a weird video for me. If you like the video, give it a clean thumbs up. And if you're not already a member of my family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my orchids. And everybody, have a good day.